sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Yeah, we probably should. It's part two already. Or probably is, at least. Zach. Zach. Can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? I hear you, York. Sounds good to me. And now the game truly begins. Sure, that's one way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Starting off talking about Hello? Tom and Jerry. I believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. I think you're doing too much there, Yorks. Probably they're making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zack? Perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. You know, at least I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Squirrels sound like monkeys, but I won't question it. You know, he's really just asking for a wreck sooner or later. Smoking on the phone and the laptop all while driving. Yeah. Well, laptop's broken. And of course now it lights. Hmm. Pretty dinky flame on that though. I think it's time for a new Zippo York. Hmm. It's also pretty great that there's a no smoking sign on the lighter. Zach, there goes the civilized world. The mission knife. A big survival knife. Very vital to the mission. And here we go. 
I don't remember the camera being that jarring. Oh well, I'll get used to it again. Steel pipe. I will take this. <laughs> There's little collectibles like this throughout the game. I think these just pop up everywhere and they're not that important. Got some agent honor. Which just gives us a little bit of money here and there. For new outfits or anything else we want to buy. We do have to buy food in this game, otherwise we get hungry. And we also have to take care of our clothes, otherwise we become a stinky agent. But all that will be explained later on. The toolbox, where I keep my stuff. I think it's empty at the moment. Unfortunately. Have to get reacquainted with the controls here. Time is going crazy. Deadly premonition trading cards. We've got one. Francis York Morgan, the main character. Known for his surreal demeanor, he talks with his dual personality named Zack during investigations. This isn't the inventory though. Maybe that's select. Nope. That would be the map. Bear with me for a minute, guys. I'll figure it out. There we go. Our FBI handgun has infinite ammo, but it's rather weak. Let's see, how do I select it? A steel pipe, mission knife, and, you know, of course we'll go with the infinite ammo handgun. If I can figure out how to freaking equip it. That's strafing. Use your damn handgun, Agent York. Remember how to run. There we go. I'm not exactly sure how I did that. I think right trigger, but yeah. Uh, melee weapons are really useful, so we will just hold off on using those. That's right, you don't use left trigger and right trigger. It's right trigger to aim and then A to shoot. Which is odd. Take it, Prince. You're obstructing the law. I'll let you handle the meet and greet. <laughs> Don't really know how we are being welcomed, but every time we go through a profiling phase, the scene gets clearer and clearer each time. Onward. I need to be out in the rain in this weird part of town. How do I reload? Probably X. Nope, B. Alright, good to go. I guess this could be kind of described as a horror game, but nah, this game, it's not, not that. Oh, poor puppy. Huh? Ew. So much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zack. Poor puppy, I'll avenge you. I will not stand for any kind of animal abuse. Not on my watch. A 
if the game just stayed like this the whole way through, then I guess it could be considered some kind of cheesy horror game that might scare little kids, but nah. This game is a lot more than that. 